Hi everybody, it's Anav from AutoDS Tools. We promised we'll uh, shoot a video about um, scheduled uploads, okay? So let's start. You go to the uploader as usual. You take your link or the asin from Amazon, grab details, you do everything as you're used to, okay? You change the title, you fix the item specifics, pictures, everything like before. Then you go down all the way here and you'll notice that now we have two buttons. One is called upload product. It's just a normal upload. The product will be uploaded immediately. And then you have the schedule upload. Once you click here, you'll have this calendar that will open for you, okay? Let's say that I wanna upload this product on Saturday, okay? Notice that we're talking about Saturday, your time. Okay, you will always see your local time. Saturday, I have a window open with the hours. Let's say I want to put it at 4 p.m. my time. Okay, now I'll see the breakdown of the hours, 15 minutes gap. I want to put it at 4. Okay, I'll see the confirmation of the time here and I'll press select. Are you sure? Upload now. Now when I'll go to the schedule upload calendar, I'll see that I have one pending product, sorry, one pending product waiting for Saturday. Okay, if I click here on the eye icon, I'll be able to see the details of the product. Okay, if I want, I can go and edit the product here. Okay, let's see. Let's say that I forgot something, I want to upload the title, the quantity, whatever, normal update, okay, that you can make. You save the changes and that's it. Now it will be saved, corrected, corrected the way you wish uh, and will be waited to, will be waiting to be uploaded, okay? And then if I go here again and let's say I don't, I change my mind, okay, I don't want it to be uploaded on Saturday. I want it to be uploaded now on Sunday. Okay, same time or a different time, let's say 5 p.m. Okay, click again till I see this little icon for save. I save it, update, and here it went to Sunday. Okay, and of course, if you wish, you change your mind, you can come here and click delete and you will no longer be uploading this item. Okay, another thing you can do is you can go and bulk upload. You can also time bulk uploads. Okay, I go here, take a list of assets. Of course, it can also be from a, from a file that you have, from a CSV file. Paste them here. Do everything as normal, whatever settings you want to change. And then I click scheduled upload. The difference between scheduled upload and a regular upload will be in the time. If I choose here that I want it to be at eight, now I have three products, okay? Let's say, now I can tell the monitor, the system, what uh, time gap I want them to be scheduled, okay? Uh, so I want now one to be uh, uploaded at eight, and then I want 10 minutes difference between each. So one will be uploaded at 8, next one 8 and 10, and the third one at 8 and 20. Okay? I click select, upload products, and that's it. Okay? I'll be able to view all of them right here. Okay? Three of them. Okay? So if you have a VA working for you, you need to remember to tell uh, he or she that the time that they see is their local time for example the philippines so you need to convert the time to u.s time according to the time in u.s that you would like your products to be uploaded okay it's very important that you understand that this is a local time uh, view and assuming that you will have failures you will be able to see it here i can see 43 were successful zero failed zero in progress, zero pending, okay? Here, 13 failed. I click on the eye icon 
will give me the status description exactly why it was why it had failed okay you don't um, your listings they do not disappear they will show up here and you'll understand why they failed and you can be able to go and edit them and time them again okay for example this listing is a duplicate one that's the reason why it wasn't uh, uploaded and so on okay it's uh, pretty uh, straightforward and obvious use this function this feature it's very very useful for your sales and good luck see you in the next video